I'm Jaden Jefferson here at the Ribbon at Glass City Metro Park, and as you can see behind me, a lot of progress has been made on what's been happening here at Glass City Metro Park. So I kind of want to walk you through exactly what's happening here at the Metro Park, and I'm sure you've likely driven by and seen a lot of construction happening. Well, this is part of that. So this right here is a 1,000 foot loop, and it's connected to a 5,000 square foot skating pond. It's going to offer a traditional ice skate rink experience, as well as different programs during those cold weather seasons where you can really get out there and enjoy some skating. So a a lot of progress has been made because we're here on the east side of the river so if you haven't been downtown lately you may not know what i'm referring to but we're here on the east side of the river and then over on the downtown side of the river there's also a lot of work happening as part of this glass city river walk project so i saw a lot of people out here today really enjoying some skating and getting to partake in some of those preview days that the metro parks have been offering so here's some additional information if you're maybe looking to be a part of this experience soon ice skating will be available throughout the cold weather season with the inaugural season set to begin in November of 2023, so this year. So you may have a few months until it comes, but I think it's definitely going to be well worth the wait. And then it's going to wrap up in February 2024. And as I mentioned, preview days are happening now. So if you want to register for some of those or be a part of those preview days, you can visit MetroParksToledo.com. And obviously these types of preview days fill up really quickly because a lot of people want to be a part of this experience. So let's talk about pricing. So it's going to be $8 for adults and $6 for children. Now, if you're three or younger, it's free. So there you have it. A lot happening here at Glass City Metro Park. And I will, of course, continue to follow progress happening here at the Glass City Riverwalk Project. But for now, reporting in Toledo, I'm Jaden Jefferson.